Right, welcome to what is a new series of videos. And first of all, I need to welcome back Lewis Johnson to the channel. Lou, it's been a while. It's been a while. But we are gonna do a new series of videos where uh, Lewis is gonna be, uh, well, effectively my new coach. I'm, looking, for, I'm looking forward to it, yeah. He's got a job on his hands and there's plenty of work to do, as many of you will know who watch the channel. And first of all, you've highlighted a big mistake that a lot of golfers make when they go for lessons. Nearly everyone. And that's where we're gonna start. I know. Yeah. Where, does it, does there feel natural? There? Yeah. Let me just take it back a bit first. Yeah. No. Okay, cool. <laughs> that's fine. It's good that, isn't it? That's why, that's why we're out here. Yeah. Brilliant. So Lewis, I came to you a couple of weeks ago and I did say that I've got a, well, kind of a major problem with my swing. On my game, I would say, yeah. in general. And uh, I was looking for a solution and perhaps a short-term fix. And you suggested that we perhaps have a look at things in a different way. And I came to you with what I thought was the problem. Let's put it that way. That's it. I think I, I get this a lot where people come and they almost, um, tell me what's wrong yep. and or what they think is wrong and the way I always liken it is you, you go into the doctors yep. and you tell them what is wrong with you and ask for what you think you need yeah you just and wouldn't do it yeah you just wouldn't do it you wouldn't do it in in many sort of walks of life and with golf we get that a lot so what I kind of explained is you know, the ideal way of doing it and I think this is where we, we we've sort of where highlighted a, a mistake it's where we're at today a lot of golfers make the mistake of they don't get their game properly assessed mm. and they don't find out exactly what's going to make them better mm. um, and what the process might entail um, so that's what we're doing today isn't it yeah so so ultimately you suggested and uh, and lewis advised that he has a look at my overall game and we're out here today for him to to do to do exactly that i'm going to hit some shots and you're going to make some evaluation and then we're going to move forward with how you think the lessons should progress and the route we go down Absolutely. and possibly the route we go down might have some uh, multiple options i assume absolutely yeah definitely i think coaching's a two-way street it's got to match what you want yo and, and a lot of people they have different uh, sort of amounts of time to practice yeah yeah they they play some people play three four times a week some people play just once once and a I, week i think again it's ultimately and i know you asked me this question is ultimately what is it that you your level of expectation what is it you want to achieve yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll explain after I've hit this shot what I've tried to say or ask of Lewis that he does with my game. Right, Lou. That's the best one. You can talk about that in a minute. Very good. Right, so we're stood on the 14th tee at Hollywell and ultimately this is where it all drew to a head for me because it's a fairly tight Oh, it's a driving hole, but it's, it's a par five. And uh, I set up on here a few weeks back. And my, my old swing would have been a bit down the right with a bit of a bit of a draw. Yeah. The odd hook thrown in. Then I'm kind of looking at a kind of safer bet, which is down the left with yeah. a bit of fade. Yeah. But at no point do I feel like in it down the middle. And so all three of those equations, I don't feel like I'm confident to aim at the right rough and bring it back. Yeah. And... So I, so I stood here with no idea where my ball was going to finish. And I thought, you know what, Andy, enough is enough. We've got to like, put a cure to this. But the question that I came to, or you asked me, was there's kind of like, there's two scenarios in which lessons kind of transpire. Yeah. So what's the first case? Yeah, so what struck me was <clears throat> your explanation is you're, you've got your normal right to left. Yeah. Then your game had drifted into aim down the left and hit a fade. Um, so this, the, there's two options really, uh, is the short term fix yep. or the long term. And the short term fix, I think, um, is, is what a lot of people look for. Yep. They've got a comp on Saturday yep. and uh, they just want to cure X, what, whatever X is, you know, whether it's a, a right, a left, a, a slice, a, yep. a pull or whatever. Um, but um, with your sort of particular um, case, it, you, know, you had one shape, your game had drifted to another um, and you kind of lost where normal was. And I think, I, you know, based on our conversation is there, there was no option for a quick fix. No. There was no, it was, you know, I think, well, we, you know, it's a process. Yeah, you know, and I think, well, uh, one of the things that Lewis asked me is what do I want to achieve? What is the kind of, I mean, is it a lot, don't forget, I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly a young kid and I've been doing it wrong for a long time. So the, the idea of changing something that's ingrained for a long, long time, 
that's potentially difficult. But and that's kind of like what you said to me. You know, yeah. are you prepared to do the kind of like yeah. the hard yards to change it? Absolutely, yeah. And my yeah. answer is yes, I am because yeah. I'm fed up of that situation. Every six yeah. months or whatever, I'll, I'll get myself yeah. find myself back. And here. it had gone as well as. Yo, added on to that, you'd said it had gone through the bag. It wasn't just the tee shots yeah. anymore. It was the quality of strike with the irons yes. and a few different things. So I think you were sort of got to a stage where you were willing to change. You know, yeah. we know hit, you hit a few golf balls, which is great. So, um, you know, I think that was the best course of action for, for what we need. So to reiterate, our point is, or where we're going to go with this, is right back to the beginning. We're going to strip it quite far back, to be honest with you. And... Uh, I've already had some discussions with Lewis and we've already been trying some of the things that uh, the, the direction we're going to go in, but we're going to sort of detail that in the lessons ahead. But if for today, if I can sort of carry on with what your thing is, which is an assessment of my overall game, we'll hit a few more shots and we'll get some feedback from Lewis in exactly what's going wrong and how we might sort of move this forward stage by stage. Well, I think we'll start on this tee. Um, I'd probably play something like five wood. Yeah. My line right now with the swing I've got would be cautiously left and expecting to hit a little bit of a cut, which is again a cautious Perfect. swing. So we're, we're, what we're, the, it's the cautious that's the word, isn't it? Yeah. So cautious. So I, I'm thinking there is, there was, there's, there was nothing ever careful or cautious about your swing. It was very rotational, very rounded, full turns, um, you know, created that shape. Yeah. Um, you've now gone to the opposite shape. So we're, when we're talking about sort of backswing is ultimately is, at impact there you're cautiously going through it yeah. so we, we need to sort of have a look well, at release all... pattern and, and where the club's going through impact what direction because you you're all are you reinventing the shape through swing or is it the your, your complete approach to this is you're just trying to get keep, the ball in play get the ball in yeah. play yeah which was well, never really used to be like that well i think what it'll be in my head and you said about self-diagnosis i mean i don't know but what i will be doing is sort of almost holding off this a little bit so it That's so it, it, yeah. it just cuts We'll try that anyway. And then you hit one dead straight and, and ultimately if you'd rather confidence to aim where you want to aim. There's a brilliant strike. It's a brilliant shot. Yeah. So so are you, you're, you're looking for in swing and, and maybe uh, I think what we need to do is really get a well-rounded picture of where you are and because if you know we know that your alignment there has cost you yeah and but actually going back is it was your approach your courses approach yeah, and yeah. what's happening so well it was a, and it was a typical example of exactly what i'm doing that that was really i mean and unfortunately i didn't have shot tracer on that but the line was inside the tree maybe a little bit uh, slightly left of the inside of the tree but it went bullet straight yeah. and that's the problem if i don't hold off yeah then uh, and people come into the room and uh, you know let's say they come in for a lesson and they tell me that they they've um they've missed the 14th fairway to the left but what they didn't they don't tell me and this is this scenario one the quick fix is that they aimed up the left yeah yeah and they were trying to play a fade because yeah they're, they're in a bit of they're at a bit of a loss and what they don't tell me is you've struck that fantastic You've hit a nice little oh, my draw. Cautious approach is Your course's it. approach has cost you. So the the miss is is that a bad shot? Yeah. Um, you have missed a fairway, but here it was actually really quite good, wasn't mm, it? So. Yeah. Okay. Well, the good news is I found my ball, but I only missed the fairway by uh, oh, I don't know twenty five yards maybe. I uh, know. Yeah. Where oh. does it does there feel natural? There. Yeah. Let me just take it back a bit first. Yeah. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> That's fine. It's good that, isn't it? That's why, that's why we're out here. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm honest with you, I mean, again, the, the whole swing doesn't feel very natural right now. That's, that's the problem, anyway. I shouldn't be doing that, really, should I? No, it's hard because that's still in the locker, isn't it? A typical example is that. I mean, I've just got one, three, five in. You should have nine, nine and out. And I'm like, there's a bit of trouble right and left. Yeah. And I'm not confident anymore, do you know what I mean? That I can aim at the flag. And that was a strong point in your game, wasn't it? Yeah, I am. Really yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah. So that's the kind of worry. So a decent enough strike, but you know, it's 15 yards left of where I think I'm aiming at least anyway. So there's a And it felt with a nine. It iron. felt normal to you, and that's the thing. Yeah. It doesn't feel normally people can tell when they pulled it or no, no. pushed it. So that's something we need to address as well, isn't yeah. it? Do you ever question anything like ball position or anything? No, 
not you enough. Just, you just, it just becomes natural. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I think again, it's always been, you know, I mean, I think this is fairly, fo maybe almost forward of centre. Okay. I mean, I don't know whether that's the case or not. Right, so that's the final swing of the day. Lou, you've pretty much seen enough. I don't know how to take that really. We've but, uh, seen enough, yeah. It sounds a bit dramatic, doesn't yeah. it? But no, um, so yeah, we've just, we've had a look at your swing. Um, I'm very fortunate enough to know Andy swing well. So uh, we got out of it, I think what we wanted in a sort of overall review. We are gonna focus more on swing, aren't we? I think yeah. that, that's the yeah. assessment. So yeah, we've got some swings there that we'll probably uh, put up. Well, if it, the, the bit I'll throw up now, and if you can explain one of the major issues, and I think, well, I half knew it, and you've pointed out to me before, I, I do come in very much inside, don't I? Yeah, that sort of yeah the club goes lower on the inside on the way back. You take it uh, there with a sort of strong club face, this club face that's probably closed. Yeah. Um, and then a, a lower on the inside but, uh, sort of takeaway would lead to a sort of movement over the top. I think people can see that. Yeah, yeah, if you can yeah. show that again, you sort of, the hands go a little bit this way. Um, means that impact the path of the club is going to the left, yeah. which would normally impart sort of a little bit of cut spin. Yeah. Uh, depending on where the face is, but because your face is strong um, on the way back and, and coming down, you're able to square the the, the 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 face up to the path. So that's where you get that two-way misses. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, yeah, you know, when the face is open to the, yeah. to the path, it's curving off. Yeah. And when it's squared or we even closed, you can well. go left as well. So I think if we can get that takeaway right, is a strong club face. I, I don't think will be a problem because you know, like you, you know that like you like to play a, um, a, a right to left shot. Uh, that's going to help that keeping the, the face close to the path. If we can get the path right, um, so that's where we're going to start. start. That's where we're going to start. Yeah. Well, I think it's pretty much, um, and from what I've experienced in recent months, that two way miss is a thing. And like I said, when I turned up on that 14th tee, that's exactly where we were at. So I clearly need to try and solve that. So look forward to it. I think we said at the beginning, the biggest mistake um, golfers make when coming to lessons was sort of not having this assessment. And I think that's been a real good thing. And like I said, maybe a bit fortunate for me in that Lewis has had plenty of time to assess my game over the years. It's not too dissimilar to what it's always been. But I think that's a real good bit of advice is to go out and have the playing lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let have a, have, an, have, the, have the assessment. Yeah. You know, go in there with an open mind yeah. and let the, let the pro have a look and then like I say, have the conversation of, of what you want to get out of it and, and, and how much practice time you get and how much yeah. playing time you get. I think that's really important. Right, so the hard work starts here. It's over to me. We'll start the lesson procedure. And like I said, I'll be filming that process as well. And we're going to use, um, we're going to use data as well to try and mark some kind of improvements as well, aren't we? To see yeah. where that sort of, yeah. how that club path Yeah, and the, and the videos. We're going to throw up some videos here, aren't yeah. we? And, and see where it is and then what that improvement is and, and what the change does to your golf swing, which is... The only concern I've got, mate, is what if I become a better than average golfer? What do we do then with the channel name? I think, yeah. yeah. Is, we'll that the, that. Is, that, is that the goal? We'll is that cross, the, that's the goal, yeah. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right. Anyway, thanks to Lewis. Thanks to Hollywell Golf Club. Um, look, I'd love to see people come up here, play the golf course and get involved with Lewis as well. But uh, we'll see how that all progresses in the months ahead. For now, thanks for watching uh, today's little intro video to this new series. And uh, we'll both catch you very soon. And uh, yeah, I've got to get some practice in.